well tarry, well tarry, well, well tarry. Got a copy of it? Emergency, emergency, emergency. So this video had my heart pumping for quite some time because just imagine you're in a kayak, which is not big at all compared to a five meter long shark. And that's what the shark was estimated to be. Not to mention it was a great white, which are responsible for the most attacks on humans. The shark approached the kayak from behind. It just pushed it before surfacing near the vessel. And it was just a really close call. It was a near miss because had the white decided to take a little chomp off that kayak, he likely would have done some crazy damage, especially being four to five meters long, which is approximately 12 feet. So that's no small fish. So the sharks, they are known for their curiosity. Sometimes they can approach boats, they can approach kayaks, even swimmers, uh, just to investigate them. And most of the time, these sharks don't really do anything to, to swimmers or surfers. But sometimes a curious uh, bite can occur, and this can result in, uh, you know, blood loss, a loss of a limb, or even fatality. So most victims of shark bites, it's just really unfortunate it happens. But once again, sharks, they are formidable apex predators. So carrying shark deterrents like electromagnetic devices or even staying in groups uh, to deter them from wanting to come investigate is also very recommended by shark experts and adventurers who go into these waters on a frequent basis. Now, as you can see in this video, it captured the attention of millions actually, and it really displays the power and speed of a Bengal tiger. So in this one, you can see a Bengal pursuing this man on a motorcycle. He was just motorcycling through a jungle in India. The tiger comes really close to catching up with him. It's super fast. I mean, this guy had to speed up. Had he not like, you know, revved his engine a little bit more there, God knows what would have happened. It would have probably caught up to him and just like swiped him off his bike. So he's extremely lucky. Nothing happened there. This tiger was going for him. They're highly territorial. They're a subspecies of tiger found mainly in India, and uh, they can weigh up to 675 pounds and measure up to 12 feet from nose to tail. So that's a huge cat, and their strength also makes them one of the most formidable predators in the animal kingdom period. So they command vast areas of land, they're solitary, and they mark their territories very well. And when they feel like their marks and their scents are being ignored and their territory is being invaded, then this can trigger some highly aggressive behavior, and you really don't want to get on the bad side of a tiger. So Bengals are usually way more aggressive during the mating season, just like moose. And if an encounter is unavoidable, it's crucial for you to have a clear understanding of emergency procedures when it comes to these big cats. So you want to use deterrence, just like you would with a mountain lion, just refer to those. That's basically what you want to do with a big, with a uh, tiger as well. Of course, it's a tiger. It can do much more damage than a mountain lion can. Not to say lions are weak, but a tiger, it can just kill a lion with one swipe of its paw. So just imagine how little power it would take for it to do any damage to us. Now moving on to the next encounter. So this video left viewers at the edge of their seats because this man was charged by what is the largest land mammal on earth. He was a trail guide in South Africa's Kruger National Park. And what he does here is stand his ground in such a way that it takes some serious cojones because had this man even flinched, this elephant was going to trample him. Now elephants, they can also be highly territorial and aggressive. They can weigh up to 14,000 pounds. So you really don't want to mess with one. Uh, even though they're considered generally peaceful, like I said, they can be super aggressive when they feel threatened or provoked. So in this case, the elephant charges at the guide, possibly perceiving him as an intruder to its territory or a danger to itself in some way. And they have very good memories. So, you know, maybe it doesn't have good memories of humans. You never know uh, what could be going through the elephant's mind. They're the very smart creatures. In India, elephants are actually known to eat a herb called Gotu Kola, which increases their memory. They have some of the best memory in the animal kingdom, so you never want to wrong one either, you know? So you never know what could be going through an elephant's mind when it decides to charge at a human. So the decision for the guide to stand his ground, he did not show any fear, he didn't make any wrong movements. This definitely saved his life, otherwise he would have been, once again, trampled into a pulp.
So experts recommend that you maintain a safe distance from elephants when you're observing them, be aware of their behavioral cues. In the event of a charge, you stand your ground, you make loud noises, that can also sometimes deter the animal. However, this is not guaranteed to work, especially with an animal that's so large, and this should be considered just a last resort. So distance is the best thing. And, you know, use your brain because, once again, we've been blessed with cognitive reasoning abilities and ability to think logically and on our feet much better than these creatures, even as, as smart and uh, as formidable as they may be. Oh, yeah. There we go. See? See? Oh, hey, hey, come on. Ay. Antonio, no, Tobias, wait, wait, Tobias, wait, they can shoot you. Vámonos, 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 vámonos. Hey, amigo, go on, hey, hey, it's there. Antonio, there's one right there. There's one. Oh, shit, fucking shit. Come, come, Tobias, come. Okay, so this video really had me holding my breath because this man just escapes a close encounter with a crocodile. I mean, despite urgent warnings from his friends literally telling him to move away from the water's edge, he continues to just showboat and he's just literally not understanding that he's on the brink of death. Like he's at the edge of the river with a crocodile who are known as ambush predators, right? And they're not only one of the most fearsome predators in the world and known for killing thousands of humans per year, but depending on the species, they can weigh up to thousands of pounds as well. And this one was a huge one, as you can see. And it just misses him. I mean, it just went for him. If he did not notice that last second that he was about to be croc food, this could have become a tragedy and he would have ended up on one of the episodes that we cover on this channel, with all due respect. And uh, this is something you just don't want to do. You don't want to showboat around one of the most prehistoric... You know, there's a reason why they've been around for millions of years, these creatures. So highly silly uh, thing for this man to do. Uh, no matter what, his friend saved him there. Otherwise, this guy was definitely going to be nabbed by that croc and it would not have been pretty. Now, when it comes to crocodiles, experts recommend maintaining a safe distance from bodies of water known to be crocodile habitats. If you find yourself in such a situation, it's super important that you heed warnings because there are usually warning signs posted all around crocodile uh, territory and you be aware of your surroundings at all times. Now, sometimes in Africa, for example, some people, unfortunately, they have to bathe in the river. They have to do things where they have no choice uh, but to go to the rivers and they're exposed to crocodile territory, they live around them, and a lot of attacks happen like this, and they go unreported. So if you do have an option, and it's not something that you have to do all the time, try to stay away from crocodile-infested waters. That's uh, common sense, in my opinion. back there. Pretty sure I just kicked the hammerhead's ass. <laughs> I just beat up a shark. That was your day. <laughs> so this video actually, it garnered widespread attention. It went viral. This kayak fisherman, I mean, this was something out of a nightmare. Like, it just shows you how powerful sharks really are. Because you can see the hammerhead just keeps bumping into his boat with such force. And this is just a hammerhead. Now, I don't mean to say just a hammerhead because they still are formidable creatures. You know, they can get really big compared to humans. But when you're looking at sharks in general, like imagine if that was a great white or if that was a tiger shark, you know, those things can do super damage. Like bull sharks too, right? Like they're highly aggressive, full of testosterone. You want to be super careful when you're, when you're traversing water in such a small vessel, especially when they're known to harbor creatures that are, you know, way bigger than the vessel that you're actually traveling in. 
Not to mention these are some of the most formidable predators in our ocean. Hammerheads can weigh hundreds of pounds, and not to mention their unique head shape that gives them an advantage in hunting, allowing for better maneuverability, and also a wider field of vision, so you know it's hard for them to miss you, They'll call, and they're usually quite curious. Now, hammerhead sharks are known for their aggressive and sometimes relentless behavior. When they feel threatened or they're in hunting mode, these guys will come after you. And in this case, the shark repeatedly approached the kayak and displayed its predatory instincts. It remained undeterred despite being struck multiple times by the man's paddle. Um, but I think that was a good move by him because it showed that, you know, you're willing to put up a fight. You never want to just be like small and curl into a ball when it comes to animals like this, unless you're dealing, of course, with a grizzly bear.